Welcome to Level Up Awareness. My name is Jov. Today I'm going to be doing a bit more awareness on the coronavirus and just with some numbers, just some really huge numbers here which we don't get told and um, yeah, quite frankly, yeah, please listen to this video and share it with people. This is this is some huge information you're about to hear, all right? So um, yeah, starting off with this, um, yeah, the eight, basically age to death ratio of the coronavirus victims, okay? So between zero to nine years old, there's been no deaths. So anyone that has contracted it, they have not died. And I'm pretty sure there's a low amount that uh, have actually contracted. There's a, there's a, a, a massive immunity in within the new um, the newborns that is just obviously resisting this um, this virus. Do a bit of research about that. It's pretty crazy. It's cool to hear that. So basically, between the ages of 10 to 39, 0.2% of people that have contracted it have died. 0.2%. This is worldwide figures right here, yeah. So I'm going to have this, um, all the all the links down below with all the basically all the information that I got this from, which is uh, worldometers.info. It's just numbers of, of things that have happened. You can check it out anyway. But um, yes, yeah, so 0.2 of people between the ages of 10 to 39 have died from this that have actually contracted it, which is just amazing. Uh, and 0.4% between the ages of 40 to 49 that have contracted it have passed away. Again, some crazy numbers in. There's just 0.4%. It's like nothing. Um, but obviously, for all of those people that are actually in the statistics, you know, my thoughts and prayers with the families. It's 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 a, such a sad time, and um, yeah, it's it's obviously it's very sad to even speak about this. But just giving you awareness. This is about giving you awareness about this. It's um, someone's got to do it, you know. So uh, between the ages of 50 to 59 years old, 1.3 percent of people that have contracted coronavirus has passed away. So again, very small. Um, all right, so it gets a bit higher. So, we, so 60 to 69 percent, still, still relatively low, but 3.6 percent, which is very, still very low. And it's obviously, as you can see, as it's getting older, um, obviously the immune systems are a bit weaker. And the, yeah, it's just if you've got a, an older grandparent or parent, I suggest just tell them, you know, getting them to work on their immune system, like I've said in my previous video, just to really help them boost um, themselves in this moment in case they become in contact with someone that has the coronavirus. Uh, anyway, between 70 to 79, it's 8%. So anyone between ages of 70 to 79 that gets contracted with coronavirus has passed away in these statistics. And 80 plus, so anyone that's 80 plus that has contracted the coronavirus, it's at the highest figure, which is 14.8%. So I did a little bit more digging as well, just in regards to, I was just wondering about preconditions, you know, pre-existing conditions like um, like diabetes or cancer or things like that, that nature, just to, you know, obviously with the immune system, back with the immune system. And it, it, there's, you know, it's all low, it's all low figures. I'll, I'll, I'll put some figures down below in the um, description, but it's all low figures in, in the, the, you know, the single digits. But obviously people that have pre-existing conditions are more vulnerable to, um, to death rate, you know, from actually contracting it. So, but it's still, it's still nothing to, for, for me, it's not nothing to really worry about. As long as you're working on your immune system, I'm going back to my previous two videos, work on yourself, work on your immune system, build yourself up so that you can defeat this. And, and, and again, feeding into the fear and feeding into this the scary moment, it's not going to help you. Just try to be as calm as you can. Just try to be as relaxed as you can. I know it's a difficult moment to do that when you've got a lot of people around you that are panicking, but just try to keep it nice and calm because this is a moment of, it's a, it's a difficult moment for everyone. And um, together we're stronger. Together we can we can calm this down and and defeat it. As you can see with these numbers, you know, it's these numbers don't lie. You know, this is this is real. This is real stuff. So. And before I go, there's one more thing about, it was um, 45,000 patients analyzed in Wuhan that actually contracted the coronavirus. 81% of them caused minor illness, so they defeated it. And they were in the, in the thick of it in China, in, you know, in that difficult moment where it began. 14% uh, of it caused severe um, problems, but they all survived. So 14% severe, but survived. And 5% were critical, which I think that some of them are still actually battling. 2.5% uh, of them actually died. So my, my thoughts and prayers are with the families that, the, the deceased because it's a sad time and, and not, you know, I, someone's got to talk about this, you know. It's just, it's, it's, it's important to get this awareness out there that we can defeat it if we just, if we stick together, we don't feed into the fear, we, we help our immune system and we just, you know, we stick together, guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please hit the subscribe, give me a like as well if you wouldn't mind. And um, yeah, if you could please share this with your friends, with your family, because we're just trying to spread the awareness out there, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love.